Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how I made this cool looking saw blade clock for my workshop. So I've been collecting up old saw blades now for a while and I thought it was about time I did something with one of them. So I picked the rustiest one I could find and I decided to make a saw blade clock with it. So the first thing to do was to remove all of the rust and to do this I'm going to use some white vinegar or distilled vinegar and I'm going to soak it in the vinegar for about two days and after two days you can really see how the vinegar has removed almost all of that rust off the blade so then to finish up the blade I used some metal polish and um, a drill just to buff all of that old rust off and then I used a bit of neutral shoe polish just to protect the metal so that it doesn't rust again from the atmosphere and I was pleased with how it turned out it almost looked like new so now I wanted to make a base for the clock I have an old scrap piece of pine here and I'm going to cut a square section out of it on the mitre saw Then I took a router and rounded over the edges of this base. I then gave it all a good sanding down with a random orbital sander. and then just finished it off by hand so now I wanted to make sure that the blade was central and I want to mark up the four points on the clock the 12, 3, 6 and the 9 so I'm drawing around the center hole and then I'm just making the four marks on the four points Now I need to draw around the clock mechanism and I took this out of an old clock, the, the glass on the clock had broke. So I thought it'd be great to use for this project. And now I'm just using the speed square to draw a square around the clock mechanism. And now I'm going to remove this material. So I'm just starting off by drilling down so that I can get my jigsaw in here. And I then took the jigsaw and removed the rest of the material. And this square doesn't need to be accurate, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be big enough so that you can get the clock mechanism inside. And I made sure that the wood was as thick as the mechanism so that it could sit flush inside the base. I then just went round the edge with some sandpaper to smooth everything out. So now I wanted to give the uh, the wood a nice burnt look. So I've got a miniature blowtorch here and I'm just burning the wood lightly to bring out all the grain. Now I want to add um, a fixing to the back of the base so that I can hang the clock. So I'm just going to drill out an area here and this is where the screw will go that will allow it to sit on the wall. Then I just gave it a hand sanding off with a very fine sandpaper and added a coat of boiled linseed oil and this really made the grain pop out nicely and you can see those 
burnt effects there. I then just buffed off the excess oil with a cloth. Then it was time to attach the blade to the base. So where them four marks are, I'm just drilling pilot holes and I'm adding some nice large headed screws. And these will just act as markers. Now I just needed to get the mechanism added to connect it to the uh, the blade, I'm using a washer. And then this nut was already on the mechanism. So if you don't have a mechanism, you can buy these very cheaply on the internet. Now I just needed to add the hands. So that's about it for this video guys, if you liked the video please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more DIY related videos and as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.